Hi everybody, in this guitar lesson we're going to be looking at Vici's song uh, Heart Up On My Sleeve. Um, if you check out my uh, YouTube channel you'll find uh, loads of Avicii guitar lessons. I've practically done the whole album. As well you can download one of these free handouts um, in the link below. I spent uh, a long time listening to the track to see, um, to see if I could get, could get it um, accurate enough. So the, there are a couple of chords, um, you don't need a capo, which is good news, if you don't have one of course. So the first is C major 7, G, B7, E minor, it's a D over F sharp, which simply is D with your thumb on the second fret of the top. I believe that's it. Um, there are quite a few technical bits and bobs, but anyway, I'm going to stop talking and play it. So the first phrase is going to be um, using C major seven. So if you whack your fingers or put your finger, place your fingers on C, the C major shape, um, and this is a finger picking song. You can use a pick, but later on, for that part, it's going to be impossible. So it's going to be Thumb on the A, index on the D, open G, then back to thumb on the A. So, and then you're going to do a hammer on pull off with your fourth finger if you can, and it's going to be like this. So, open B to one to open, and with the pull off, I call them flick offs because you, you'll get a much better sound if you flick kind of flick downwards. So let me do this phrase again. Here we go. And then move your second finger down. And you're gonna do two, open on the G. That was the first line. The second line with G goes like this. It's kind of a bit like, um, this tune's a bit like over the Hills and Far Away by Led Zeppelin. No, 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 that's another one. And in bar two, the finger picking phrase is used with the <coughs> And in bar two, there's a finger picking phrase using the G major chord. And it goes like this. So if you want to place your second finger on the third fret of the top, and you're gonna do thumb on there, then with index and second, the D string and then G, back to thumb on top. So, and if you can, keep your, your second finger there, and then you're gonna do a hammer on, a trill, like, um, so it's gonna be hammer on and pull off between open, what's that, open G, two, and then pull off. And then with your third finger, you're gonna do four on the D. Open G. Let me show you again. So. Whoops. Back to two. No, open. Okay. And then in the third bar. It's gonna be that. And this is the first part of uh, the B major, uh, B dominant seven. Um, dominant seventh, um, open chord, but for this we're just going to put our index finger on the first fret of the D string and second fret of the A. With our thumb and index finger we're going to do the A string, the D string, and with our third or fourth we're going to do open B, and then you repeat, repeat that again. Now in the fourth bar this is where it gets tricky. Um, if you can't play the, well let me just show you. 
and I messed it up. Um, if you can't uh, include the uh, low thumb notes, just leave them out. Let me show you the melody. So it's going to be open E, and you're going to slide from 3 to 5 on the B, and then back to 0, 3, and then slide 4 to 2 on the G string, and then open G. Altogether, that was. And with the thumb notes, it's going to sound like this. So it's going to be um, three open E's. To two on the E. And with the melody, it goes like this. This is really difficult. So um, you're going to do... Three to f um, open E, sliding three to five on the B with a thumb note on E, thumb note on E, again, then third fret on the B and open E, at the bottom, then thumb the E again, and then you're gonna place your second, third finger, no, 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 second finger, on the fourth fret, ready to slide down to two, at the same time sort of applying pressure with your thumb on the second fret of the top string and it should sound like this. It's very difficult. And then open G. Okay, um, right, let's look at the third line, which we've already done. So this is the C major seven or the C seven bit. And then the second bar of line three is G one. Turn over the page to here. Um, it's B7 again, except it goes like this. So we just add an extra one at the end. So it's, it's going to be the A string, the D, and the open B. And again, and at the very end, at the very end, you're going to add an extra first fret on the D. <coughs> now in the second bar of line four, it's still a B chord, but it's a different one. So you move your fingers from there to here, so it's first fret on the second. Um, what am I talking about? It's the second fret on the A string, and then with your third finger, fourth fret on the D, and you're gonna do D, or the A, sorry, D, and open B, better. D, and then one at the end, and this is gonna be nice and short, so. Let me play line four all the way through. Okay, let me show you the fifth line. I think it's the fifth line. So the chords, the order of the chords are E minor, C, G, and D, or D over F sharp. They all use a similar kind of finger picking technique, but let me show you anyway. Okay, so it's E minor, placing your index finger on the second fret of the D, and you're going to do thumb on top, D string, G, back to thumb on top, open B. Keep your index where it is, and for C, it's more of a C major 7 chord, or sound. But you place your second finger on the third fret of the A, and then thumb on the A, D string, G, back to thumb on the A, and B. Then G is this. So just put your second finger on the third fret of the top string. So you're gonna be do thumb on the top, D, G, thumb on the top for E, and then finally open B, and then with D over F sharp, it's gonna be index, second fret, top string. Um, open D, second fret on the second finger, second fret on the G, and then finally place your third finger on the third fret of the second B string here. The picking pattern is thumb, D string, oh, sorry, thumb on top, D string, G, thumb on top, and with your fourth finger or any, for that matter, third string or third fret on the B string and then open E. And that's 
Maybe the song, full song. Well, not the, it's the guitar part of the song. Let me explain what all of this stuff means here. This is the first and second time of Pete's. These symbols here, the thick or the th kind of thicker boat shaped line and the thin one with the two dots is are the repeat symbols, repeat marks at the beginning and end of this phrase. So you play the top line once, do the first time of Pete, go back to the beginning, then jump. When you get to reach here, the end of this line, jump to the second time of Pete. Um, which is just the same as the previous bar without the open E at the end. I'll show you anyway. So here's D over F sharp. There we go. Um, hopefully this video has been uh, good fun. Uh, if you've liked it, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and watch my other videos.